What's up guys, this is Randy with WondersWorld.com, your official overland travel experts. And today we're going to show you how to secure your vehicle. We're going to start out with the windows. Uh, first things first, I would suggest getting a, a medium tint. We went with uh, with a mirror tint kind of, so we can still have a good good view outside, so it's nothing too dark. Um, you want that just so people can't look inside your vehicle and see what kind of goodies you have inside. Um, secondly, what we did is added um, security bars inside um, on all of our windows. Uh, we drilled them into the frame. And then we also tack welded them, as you can see here on all of them. And they're just simple bars, just something that someone can't break the window and just crawl in. Or break the window and uh, grab whatever they want to grab. In the rear, we did pretty much the same thing. Just uh, a double bar across with a couple two uh, vertically to make them a little stronger. Again, just, just screwed them in um, and then tack welded them together on both sides. Now on the front we went a different route because we want them removable. So what we did is we built these with slots on the bottom, um, slots on the bottom here, and we welded this up on top. So essentially they go on top like this and they slide down into these slots, just like that. We haven't, we haven't painted them and made them look pretty yet, but we'll get there. Um, and then it can close. So we, we just, yeah, we don't want bars in our face all the time. We want to be able to roll the window down and hang an arm out the window and enjoy, enjoy the comfort of that. But uh, they're very easily removable and replaceable. Now when it comes to the front windshield, we didn't feel the need to put bars across it because it would have been difficult to fabricate bars for the front, nor would they be removable and we don't want bars across the front. But with the front windshield, it's different than all the rest of the windows. It doesn't shatter. There's a very thick piece of plastic in the middle and it's very difficult to get through it. Uh, the front windshield is made for, for, for impact, so you'd need uh, some pretty good force to get through it. And uh, if somebody's willing to go do the work to get that much uh, effort into getting through it, you know, they'll probably get through it on, on your side windows also. So we've covered how people cannot get into the windows uh, body-wise, uh, but they're still able to break the window and possibly unlock the door and open it. So we went a step further and took the knobs off of the in inside of the uh, doors here, um, but we did do it in such a way that we can still uh, screw them back on if we ever want to be able to open and close it. But when they're off and the door is locked, it is down below the surface and you're going to need some needle nose pliers or something, something, something pretty good to get that out of there. So uh, if they were to break the window, they're not going to just be able to get in here, pop that lock, and open the door. As for the back, we've done pretty much the same thing. Uh, there's a knob on the back to um, lock and unlock it, which is also removable and reattachable. Nothing we got to cut, nothing we got to fabricate. It just unscrews right off. So when we're away from our vehicle, we take that off. So someone can't bust through the screen here or window, reach down and unlock it. Uh, when we're in the vehicle sleeping at night, we'll pop it on there and, and lock it so we can lock it from inside so we're secure inside of our vehicle. Um, as for the outside, what well, we've gone a step further yet and added exterior locks. So just, just, just for a secondary 
security. We started with these actually, and I didn't feel comfortable with, with the uh, strength of them. I wanted to go a step further, and that's when I thought of, of the knob thing. So if you can't get the knobs off, nor can you get these off, there's no way you're gonna get in. Now that we've talked about the interior security of your vehicle, we wanna talk about the exterior, which is also very important. When it comes to your rims, you definitely want some kind of locking nut on all of them, at least one. Um, so that they're secure and no one can just come and take them off and you wake up and walk out to your vehicle uh, on blocks. It's, it's... And a locking gas cap, a very cheap way of making sure you come back out to your vehicle in the morning with a full gas tank. As for storage compartments outside of your vehicle, we tried to make as many as possible so we have more room inside of our vehicle. So we got quite a few and you want them all secure. We went with a regular military uh, ammo box and we modified them to have locks. Okay. Uh, we'll carry extra parts, uh, first aid kits, uh, any kind of tools. Um, we have one on each side of the bumper here. Same thing. It's a very, very good way of, of, of storing things out of the way, forgotten about, and uh, you keep things organized way easier inside your vehicle. As for our winch, uh, we went just with a, a front hitch on our front bumper. Some bumpers, they have built-in winches um, or areas where you can put a winch. Uh, we added a, a hitch area and then installed a winch plate um, and then installed uh, this 10,000 pound winch along with a lighting bracket. So we have uh, high output LED lights uh, for when we're driving at night. So um, what we did here is we Obviously right here we got a, a locking pin so someone can't just take this pin out and, and pull it straight out of the hitch. Okay, we went a step further and welded the, the winch to the plate so someone can't just take the bolts out and, and remove the, the winch from the plate. As for the rear of our vehicle, uh, we got two five gallon jugs um, that we put on a plate uh, which is also a swing away which we like so we can get to our rear hatch easily and it will open without having to actually remove stuff. Um, it opens like so. Um, on the front here we do have locks of course so people can't just take our, our gasoline. Okay. We have also welded all of the pieces together. So someone can't just come over here with a, with a half inch wrench and, and take this tower off uh, from the bottom and top and remove it. We welded all the pieces together. We welded all of the swingaways over here together to the, to the bumper. If you wanna come over here. We welded it to the bumper. You can't just take these bolts off and pull the, take this whole swing away out. Uh, now this, this is our own design um, that we fabricated. This keeps most of our extra tools uh, and parts for the van. Um, this has a heavy duty master lock. There's no way anyone can freaking break through that. Um, again, welded all the stuff together, every piece, so these swingaways can't be dismantled. Also, on the top, when they are in place, these ones come with locking areas up here where you put locks, so someone can't just open it up. And finally, with our roof rack, what we did is we covered the whole thing with chicken wire, um, and then we also have a half inch cable that goes all the way around through the chicken wire, through our spare tire, um, all the way around. And we, we carry all of our bulky items, a lot of our items that we don't use very often up here, so it's just out of the way. Also on your roof rack, you want locking 
towers. You want these to be lockable. As you can see, the key goes there, it covers up, and no matter what direction you turn it, you can't pull that off. And last but not least, this is our Pelican case. Uh, we keep a lot of uh, lighter objects up here. Again, uh, like with a lot of our stuff up here, we try to keep our bulky stuff but lighter stuff. We try to keep our heavy weight down, down low and our lighter stuff up top so we're not so top heavy. But yes, this is, this is also a, uh, a way of securing your, your Pelican case. If you use a Pelican case, if you don't, uh, this could possibly even work for, for a bag, anything. Um, but again, just, yeah, whatever you put up here, whatever you put anywhere on the outside of your vehicle, make sure it's secure with lock and key. And when it comes to vehicle theft, that's the worst thing that could happen to you. So you do want to have your vehicle secured in a sense that they can't steal your vehicle. What we did is had a double, double armed club, like so. Um, sometimes, or I've heard, uh, these can be removed with a little bit of effort. Uh, we went a step for further and uh, we have a hot wire switch that's hidden that basically every time at night we switch it and no matter how hard they try to start it, if they were to hot wire it, it won't start. It kills the, uh, the ignition. So uh, club and a ignition hot wire switch that you can turn off at night. So thanks for watching our video on how to secure your overland travel vehicle. This is Randy from WondersWorld.com wishing you safe travels from Puerto Escondido.